Welcome to our world and imagine. I'm going to share you the story, The Lion King, a tale of pride and redemption. Have a fun. In the heart of the vast African savanna, where the golden sun painted the grasslands in a tapestry of warm hues, the circle of life continued its eternal rhythm. Within the pride lands, Mufasa reigned as a noble and just king. His son, Simba, exuberant and spirited, was destined to inherit the throne. But his impulsive nature often led him astray. Simba spent his days frolicking through the savanna with his best friend, Nala. Their adventures often led them to forbidden places, where the shadow of danger lurked. One such day, they ventured into the elephant graveyard against Mufasa's warnings. Scar, Mufasa's envious brother, seized this opportunity, luring the cubs into danger and setting in motion a tragic chain of events. The hyenas, Scar's treacherous allies, ambushed Simba and Nala. But in the nick of time, Mufasa arrived, his roar shaking the ground. Angered by Scar's manipulations, Mufasa reprimanded his son, but enveloped him in the warmth of fatherly love. As the sun dipped low, painting the sky in shades of orange and gold, Mufasa took Simba beneath the sparkling canopy of stars, explaining the delicate balance of the world and the responsibilities of a future king. However, Scar's burning desire for power persisted. In a diabolical plan, he led Simba into a gorge, orchestrating a wildebeest stampede. Mufasa arrived to save his son, facing peril to shield him. But Scar, consumed by envy, committed the unthinkable betrayal, throwing Mufasa into the stampede's path, heartbroken and filled with guilt. Simba believed he was responsible for his father's demise. Scar, manipulating the truth, convinced Simba to flee, exiling him from the Pride Lands to ensure his grip on power remained unchallenged. Alone and haunted by his past, Simba journeyed far from home. In the oasis of the jungle, he found solace and companionship in Timon and Pumba. They taught him the carefree ways of Hakuna Matata, a life free from worries. However, the weight of his past and his true identity as the rightful king could not be eluded. Meanwhile, Scar's tyrannical rule plunged the Pride Lands into desolation. The once lush and vibrant kingdom withered into a barren wasteland. Scar's oppressive reign, in alliance with the hyenas, scarred the land and its inhabitants. Amidst this desolation, Rafiki, the wise mandrel, received a vision from the stars, revealing the truth about the rightful king. Simba's destiny beckoned, and Rafiki set out to guide him back to reclaim his throne. Simba, torn between his newfound life of freedom and the weight of his responsibility, received a visit from Rafiki. The wise mandrel led Simba to a pool, where he beheld his own reflection, reminiscent of Mufasa's image in the stars. Confronted with his past and his true identity, Simba heard the echoes of his father's wisdom. With newfound determination, Simba set forth to reclaim what was rightfully his. In a climactic showdown, truth triumphed over deceit. Simba confronted Scar, revealing the reality of Mufasa's demise. The Pride Lands erupted into a battle between Scar's forces and those loyal to the true king, in a mighty clash. Simba faced Scar, each representing opposing ideals, one of integrity and the other of manipulation. As the dust settled, Scar's treachery was exposed and the former king met his downfall. The rains came, washing away the scars of the past. The pride lands flourished once more under Simba's rightful rule. 
He embraced his responsibility, acknowledging the lessons from his father and the hardships that shaped him. With wisdom and humility, Simba led his kingdom, ensuring that the circle of life continued, weaving the tales of pride and redemption for generations to come. The once barren pride lands burst into a colorful bloom, wildlife thriving under the reign of a king who had learned from the past. The young lion who had once fled returned as the true king, bringing harmony, justice, and abundance. Simba, guided by the legacy of Mufasa, ruled with empathy and understanding. Knowing that being a great king meant embracing the past and shaping a better future, under Simba's reign, the lionesses hunted freely, the herds grazed without fear, and the sky was filled with the songs of the savanna. Simba, alongside Nala, ruled as a just king, a living testament to the redemption of the past and the perseverance of a noble heart. The pride lands echoed with stories of pride, resilience, and the enduring strength of a king who had risen above his doubts to reclaim his destiny. The end. If you are really enjoying our story please like share and subscribe our channel, and imagine. Hit the bell icon and never forget the next stories.